Yes, ma'am. If she's looking for attention today, you got it. I think you look disgusting. And I think... Because maybe we should leave something to the imagination. Why? Why? <laughs> I just gotta say, this. I People... am what men want. Because men love big breasts. No, see, the, the, the people that are insecure about themselves, whether it's through large breasts, small breasts, big noses, strange bodies, it's because of women like the stripper who, like, present their bodies in such a way. I mean, she's practically falling out of that. I mean, it's disgusting. Well, and that is what makes the women what makes you hate? What makes you think it's disgusting, you two? Do you hate your mothers? You hate yourself? What's so terrible about breasts? You hate breasts? I don't know if I quite understand the hostility here. Yeah, um, what's the hostility? <laughs> You're jealous. You know, if she wants to do this, um... But why is it necessary to call her name? I'm glad their true colors are coming out because this is Wait what minute, I talk with I'm... from women all the time. Huh? I'm glad their true colors are coming out because this is what I put up with from women all the time. But you know, I don't like to you see know. women pitted against other... Hey, hang on just a moment. Miss Allred, please. I don't like to see women pitted against other women. What I think is important is the issue, Phil. And in this country, we have a real fetish about breasts. For yeah. example, we're talk, we talk about women often as though that all, that's all they are is walking breasts. We call them boobs. We say, talk about boobs or, or knockers or jugs yeah. as though the person inside is not important. We reduce yeah. them to objects. I think women should be treated yeah. as full human beings, accepted as they are, as she is, and as some of the rest of us are. Yeah. I give her a lot of credit. I think you're a dynamite lady. You say it just the way you feel about it. But I would like to ask you a question. Are you married? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I think that obviously she's not married to me. Everything you have said has has bothered me. I mean, <laughs> sure, it's, it's fine. It's fine if you want to be a stripper and you want to use what God has given you. More power to you. That's fine. But don't tell other people and don't tell the women here that that's how all men are and that's all they want. You're not. I didn't I mean, say the kings in report. Kinsey report has proven that men are more interested in breasts than any part of the woman's body. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why are we always... I want to say that I have large breasts and I'm very proud of it, but I think they also could be displayed tastefully. Yeah. But, but wait a minute. I know what I have to do to make money. Now I got lots of wisdom here, please. <laughs> how come many designers now are playing down the looks of the chest and wearing baggy clothes. Yes, a lot of baggy. Yeah. No, but yeah. you see, you know... Uh, uh, Miss Kelly. Let me show what she has. You know, she just said, I do what I have to do to make money. And when you think about it, in this country, unfortunately, the only jobs in which women as a class can earn more money than men as a class are prostitution, nude modeling, perhaps being strippers. Isn't that an indictment of the way we yes, don't give is. women credit yes. for the kinds of achievements that they can show? Yes. And I think that that's L wrong. Lustful men. Yeah. Lustful men. Don't yeah. blame me. Miss Kelly, please don't tell me what I like. And in a society of sexism, uh, there's some I guys don't know what still you left like. too Well, you did. You said all Maybe men you're like not big even jugs. Hetero. And I, I happen to like uh, I like a woman with um, a terrific smile, some great eyes, and a real nice personality. Uh, question for you, That's Phil. What is public. Your... What? That's what he says in public. Yeah. Phil, I have a question for I you. Bet you do. What, <laughs> what is your reaction to women with big breasts or small breasts, since you're a male in the audience? And... Oh, he turned red. I, to me, <laughs> it's the eyes. <laughs> and we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> I will. I want to know if this attorney has researched this to see if there are other cases like this one and how have they been decided. As far as I know, uh, there aren't any other cases like this. But there are interesting cases involving breasts. For example, I'm suing a Beverly Hills restaurant on behalf of a woman 
who alleges that she was not allowed to breastfeed at lunchtime. Uh, but, but, you know, there, people can go in there in low-cut dresses. Yeah. But when a woman uses the breast for her natural function, yeah. that's considered somehow to be offensive, and she's not allowed to do it. Um, I want to ask the lady on the end, if when you went to the doctor, how come the doctor didn't say if you lost weight, then your breast would get smaller? Because it's not true. Well, because it's not, I mean, it really, it is not. I mean, you can, you can be a size three and have a double D chest. I mean, this, this is not necessarily so, you yeah. know, that o your breast will here. lose weight. Over here. Okay, I want to say to the stripper, I think that you are enhancing the fact, this one woman was saying before that, um, all people look at her boobs and she has no brains. I think you're enhancing that fact. And you make it look bad for everybody. I'm small, I love it, my husband loves it, and I'm happy. Oh, you're wonderful. You're wonderful. Yeah, I'd like to say this. I bet stripper. I can make more money than you. <laughs> unfortunately, you may be able to. That's unfortunate, though. Can you make $4,000 a week with your breath? I don't need to. I have other women. You have a man taking care of you. Uh, I'll get back to you. I just don't. I work. <laughs> yeah. I work. I think uh, your success or happiness in life is determined by how you feel about yourself, whether it's big breasts, small breasts, and you don't need that to attract somebody. Yes, ma'am. Um, but unfortunately, student, it's not true. Being a, student, being a student now, have you brought more attention to your breast size now? I mean, uh, through all the support that I have gotten, not one person at school or anywhere has come up and said anything. Wise bad guy. or wrong. Yeah, no wise cracks. Everybody that has come up to me has said, this isn't true, and this lady's crazy for telling me this. And yeah. the, thing that, the thing that really bothers me about this whole thing, incident with this lady, Vicki, is that I cannot believe a woman would tell her this. I mean, it's supposed to be a woman. I mean, she has no sense of... That's really... I think that's really tasteful to a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Vicki, oh. oh, excuse me, Kelly, oh. I've always been led to believe that more than a handful is wasted. What do you do with the excess? <laughs> you gotta use two hands at a time. Yeah. I'm afraid I, I find you very anachronistic. You're from the 50s, the 60s. I do not think that you're what people are looking for. Now you'll simply have to look in magazines to see that. Yeah, you do, and they buy a lot of magazines. Are yeah. you there? I'm glad you waited, caller. Hang sure. on. Go ahead. I'm a 30-year-old male. And uh, I had very large breasts, and at this time, I just got done with a reduction a uh, week ago today. And uh, I'm really proud that I had this finally done. You have breast reduction? Yes, I did. Uh-huh. How old did you uh, say you were? Excuse me? How old? 30. And you were, what, self-conscious about your breast? Yes, especially yeah. going to the beach, taking my shirt off, being around my family. It's well... Believe it or not, we've discussed this on our program, and uh, it's, it is a real thing for uh, not a few men. Males can have uh, breasts that some of them find distracting. And, uh, yeah, I, think it, I think it's a problem for some men, but I think the main problem is with women. And as I say, from birth, and when you think about it, how scarred children can get. I mean, there are children who are out there t wearing training bras at, ten at, at, at the age of 10. What are their breasts in training for, is my question. <laughs> yeah. Why do they even, who is making money off of this? We yeah. have a huge industry out there that is making lots of money off of women having to be worried night and day about whether their breasts are the right size or whether they have the right support or what. I want to know when women are going to benefit what, rather than when the whole industry out there is going to make money off of women. I'm glad you waited. Go ahead. Hello? Hang on just one second. Yeah, go ahead. Hello? We're waiting for you, sir. I'm sorry. I'm calling. Uh, I'm a 32-year-old male. I just wanted to make a comment that uh, any of the girls, I didn't have many sexual encounters, but what, the ones I did, none of the girls were ever satisfied with their body. Did All the girls you've known did not like their body. Right, that, that I've known sexually. They were all disappointed with their breasts, with their body size, or whatever. Well, We've discussed this, too. Okay, this culture just clobbers women emotionally. What, what I was gonna you're either too short, too small, too fat, too skinny, too, you know, and then you've got split ends and your nails, is, you know, <laughs> is something wrong with your nails, is something wrong with your nose. Well, God knows we don't like your eyes. Look what you're doing to them. Well, what, what eventually happened was I ended up marrying a girl who I made a comment to, a very compliment over her body size. I think she had a beautiful body and she got real 
that apnea, and I ended up later finding out that she had been suffering from anorexia bulimia for about 10 years because of what she grew up with, with people judging her body. Right. And starting with training bras and the whole bit, and now right. my nieces are going through it. And well, I'm you better, just briefly, uh, we really are talking about raising young boys and girls to uh, different values. I, I mean, I don't know how you, this is called generational. I don't know how long it's going to take. Well, I think, Phil, the time to start is now, because I think what we're saying is, that our young daughters and women have to fit into this stereotype, which is really perpetuated, I think, by the picture of women in pornography. If you think about it, we're supposed to look like that. But I go into health clubs, into steam rooms, and I look around, and I see women who are, who are all sizes and shapes. Those are the ones who are beautiful, and I don't think we should all have to look like those women in pornography. And we'll be back in just a moment. Yes, did you want to? I give men a lot more credit than Kelly does because I just don't believe that the only thing that men are interested in is big breasts. I give them a lot more credit for being more intellectual than that, looking for a lot more things than a woman. Uh, ob obviously, obviously, Kelly has oversized breasts. However, she's in showbiz and uh, she makes money from it. So what is the big thing? That's right. Yeah. What's the big thing? Yeah. We're talking about two big things. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, I'd like to know what Kelly does when it's uh, 90 and 100 degrees and the humidity is high during the summer. Yeah, it's a problem when you have to dress defensively, but then when you're on an appointment and you want to impress the guy you're going to meet in business, then you have to try to wear something revealing and all that. And on the way there, you get 25 other guys after you. It's very difficult. I've had men come up to me on the street and grab me physically. I've been raped five times. I've been beaten up by a man that I refuse to have sex with. Uh, there's a lot of problems. I mean, there is a terrific backlash of being very sensuous looking. You know, there's a good side and a bad side. I resent what Kelly is doing for only one reason. I think it's wonderful that she's using her potential to make the most money that she can. I'm very happy that she loves her body, but what she's doing is the same thing that our culture has been doing to us since the time I was a very little girl, which is making me feel insecure and inadequate. And it's okay. Well, it's not really okay for the, for the business, for the advertisement industry to do it. They're making money on, on it. But I think that you as a woman should know that the most important thing is to really be womanly. And I think maybe in Europe they do understand that they appreciate women in a very different sense than they do in America. They are very, very sexual, but there's much less sexism than there is here. I'm a product of what this society wants, this culture wants. I'm a marketable item, and I make money from the way I am. Over it's here. as simple as that. Uh, I don't think I've once asked breath out on a date. Okay. What did you say? I've never asked breath out on a date. You know, you know, Phil, Are you there? Hi, thanks, boys. Phil, Hi, Phil. Hang on a minute. This is typical. The guys, when we are in public, when they're trying to impress their girlfriends and their families and everybody, they, they jump say, up and attack they talk me. Like a home when market. we are alone, they have 50 fingers and 20 hands, and they're always going for okay. the sensuous hey. people. Now, Kelly says she's a product of yeah. what this country wants. Yes. Well, I hope that I'm a product of what this country wants as well. Yeah. Because they're there. That's why they punch your breasts, because they're there in front of their face. Yes. What? Briefly, sir. I'm sorry that people are so obsessed with their bodies. I think that you're all beautiful and that you shouldn't be afraid, you know, to be well, who you, you are. Phil. Are you there? Caller, go ahead. Yes, I am, Phil. Yeah. Let me tell you what an enlightened audience you have there that they think appearance is not important. I tell you, I have been 150 pounds overweight and I have been slim. Now, with the same face, the same smile, the same eyes, and the same personality, I have received a lot more respect from people and a lot more attention from men when I have been slim. Now, put that in your pipe and smoke it. And we'll be back in just a moment. Hi, we are almost out of here, but go ahead. Caller? Hello. Go ahead, please. I had the same kind of experience as Vicky when I was in high school. And I walked around covering up my breast till I was almost 30 years old because of the traumatizing Vicky, effect that it had on me in high school. And it really affected my life until my husband convinced me that I was a beautiful, worthwhile person who could allow these breasts to show in public. 
And I think an injustice was done to this young girl. Uh, by this we do too, and that's why she's right. And promotional fees paid by the father.